For centuries, the battlefield was ruled by men. Soldiers marching, tanks rolling, fighter jets soaring. War was brutal, bloody, and driven by human decision. But today, that's changing. The warriors of the future don't bleed. They don't feel fear, and they don't sleep. They are machines, autonomous, relentless, and rewriting the rules of combat. Welcome to the rise of robotic warfare, a world where drones don't just watch from the sky, they hunt, they strike, and they decide who lives and who dies. It all started as an experiment. During World War I, military engineers toyed with the idea of unmanned flying bombs. By World War II, reconnaissance drones were taking their first flights, but the real breakthrough came in the early 2000s with the arrival of the Predator drone a silent assassin capable of tracking, targeting, and striking with deadly precision. The Predator wasn't just a weapon, it was a revolution. With a 24-hour endurance, high-altitude surveillance, and deadly Hellfire missiles, it changed how wars were fought. No longer did pilots need to fly into danger zones. They could sit in a control room thousands of miles away and eliminate threats with the push of a button. Soon, drones became the backbone of modern warfare. From Afghanistan to Iraq, from Syria to Yemen, unmanned aerial vehicles became the eyes, ears, and executioners of the battlefield. Enemies could no longer hide. Every movement, every signal, every heat signature could be tracked, analyzed, and, if necessary, eliminated. But warfare doesn't stand still. Drones evolved, they became faster, deadlier, and smarter. The MQ-9 Reaper, a successor to the Predator, carried heavier weapons, flew longer missions, and executed pinpoint strikes with terrifying efficiency. And then, something changed. The war in Ukraine introduced the world to the next evolution of drone warfare. Cheap, effective, and brutally efficient drones that didn't just support troops, they bagged them became current the frontline soldiers. The Ukraine War and the Drone Revolution the war in Ukraine was a proving ground. For the first time in history, drones weren't just an advantage, they were essential. Both sides deployed thousands of drones, each with a specific mission. Reconnaissance, attack, disruption. FPV drones, once used for racing, became deadly weapons. Armed with explosives, these fast maneuverable drones were piloted by soldiers in real time, allowing them to fly through windows, chase moving targets, and destroy enemy tanks with pinpoint accuracy. Then came the Bayraktar TB-2, a game changer for Ukraine. Small, affordable, and lethal, it struck deep into enemy lines, taking out convoys, artillery, and command posts. It wasn't just a weapon, it was a symbol of resistance, proving that drones could turn the tide of war. And then there were the loitering munitions, also known as suicide drones. The Muir Switchblade 600, the Shod 136. These were drones that didn't return. They circled above the battlefield, waiting for the perfect moment to dive onto their targets in a one-way mission of destruction. But perhaps the most terrifying evolution is the Shadrone Swarm. Hundreds, even thousands of AI-driven drones, moving as one, communicating in real time, overwhelming enemy defenses. The age of autonomous warfare is no longer science fiction. It is here. As AI advances, so does its role in combat. We're moving toward a world where drones may no longer need human operators at all. Autonomous drones, powered by artificial intelligence, can identify, track, and eliminate targets without human intervention. A battlefield where machines decide who lives and who dies. This raises serious questions. Can we trust AI to make ethical decisions in war? What happens when AI-controlled drones turn against their own side? And if AI can wage war better than humans, do we risk making war easier, more frequent, and more devastating? The future of war and the ethical dilemma. Imagine a battlefield where no humans are present, soldiers replaced by autonomous machines, AI-controlled drones eliminating threats before they are even detected, a war fought entirely by algorithms and robots. This isn't a distant future, it's a reality being built right now.
Military superpowers are investing billions in autonomous warfare. The US, China, Russia, each racing to develop AI-controlled fighter jets, robotic ground forces, and self-learning drone swarms that can dominate the battlefield. But here's the problem. Once AI controls warfare, can we ever take it back? If AI decides who is a threat and who isn't, what happens when mistakes are made? What happens when AI miscalculates, when it launches an attack without human approval? Who is responsible when a drone makes the wrong call? The global arms race is accelerating and the rules of war are struggling to keep up. Should AI be allowed to make life or death decisions? Should nations agree to ban autonomous weapons before it's too late? Or have we already crossed the point of no return? One thing is certain, the future of war will not be fought by men in trenches, but by machines in the sky, on the ground and beneath the sea, a war of intelligence, algorithms, and automation. The question isn't whether robotic warfare is coming, it's already here. The only question left is, are we ready? The last frontier of war is no longer about firepower. It's not about who has the biggest army or the most advanced fighter jets. The real battle now is about intelligence, artificial intelligence, and the ones controlling it may no longer be human. As we stand at the edge of the AI revolution, the question is no longer whether robots will replace soldiers, it's how much control we are willing to give them. A world where machines wage war without human oversight is closer than we think. The consequences, terrifying. AI is already being trained to outthink, outmaneuver, and outperform human pilots. In recent US military simulations, AI-controlled fighter jets defeated experienced human pilots in dogfights. Robotic tanks are being tested to navigate battlefields without human drivers. AI snipers can identify and eliminate targets in milliseconds. And machine learning algorithms are deciding, in real time, where and when to strike. The next step, fully autonomous combat swarms, drones that operate as a single intelligent unit, communicating, adapting, and hunting down enemy forces without any human involvement. One moment, the sky is clear. The next, hundreds of drones descend like a storm, overwhelming defenses in an instant. But here's where things get dangerous. The more we rely on AI to make life and death decisions, the more unpredictable war becomes. What happens when AI misidentifies a civilian as a threat? What if an algorithm decides to escalate a conflict without human approval? And what if AI learns that war should never end? We've come close to global catastrophe before. The Cold War saw nuclear weapons nearly launched due to false alarms and miscalculations. But in every case, a human intervened. Someone stopped the launch, questioned the orders, and prevented disaster. But with AI in control, there may be no one left to say, stop. This is why governments and human rights organizations are calling for an international ban on fully autonomous lethal weapons before it's too late. The United Nations has debated the issue for years, but military superpowers are reluctant to stop developing AI-driven war machines. After all, if one country has them, can others afford not to? The AI arms race is already underway. The US is developing AI-controlled stealth bombers. China is investing heavily in AI-powered naval fleets. Russia is experimenting with autonomous robotic soldiers. And smaller nations are turning to cheap AI-driven drone warfare to level the playing field against bigger militaries. The goal? Winning wars before they even begin. Imagine an AI-powered defense system that detects incoming attacks before they happen and launches preemptive strikes. Imagine fleets of robotic warships that patrol oceans without human crews. Imagine battlefields where the first human casualty is the last one left. But here's the nightmare scenario. If AI can control weapons, then AI can be hacked. What happens when terrorists or rogue states gain control of AI-driven armies? What if self-learning AI decides that humans are the real problem? And in the end, are we building machines that will protect us? or destroy us? The truth is, we are entering an age where war may no longer be fought by men, but by lines of code. Decisions made in milliseconds. No hesitation, no emotion, no mercy. So now the question isn't just whether robots will fight our wars. The question is, 
who will control them? Will A, I be our greatest weapon or our biggest threat? And once we give them the power, will we ever be able to take it back? Like subscribe and stay tuned as we uncover the future of warfare, technology, and the forces shaping our world.